In the new world of cybercrime, criminals are targeting specific organizations and jurisdictions to steal government information. Andre Dolkin of CyberArk feels that security software that detects anomalous behavior in the enterprise network could provide a vital defense for public sector organizations. Attackers are going after specific organizations in order to gain specific assets or goals. And uh, this understanding is uh, being accepted both by the private and the public sector. Attackers are trying to impersonate legitimate users. So those technologies that are capable of detecting what is normal in the network and discover what is anomalous will be able to perhaps identify and detect those attacks and provide a trigger for responding to them. Multiple experts at the Black Hat conference in Las Vegas joined him in sharing their thoughts on today's cyber threats. According to them, the evolving cyber threat landscape is forcing the public sector to change their security strategy. Cybersecurity technology has to move away from the traditional mechanism which relies on detecting bad things to protect a system from attack. And it's going to evolve into isolation of all information that comes from unknown sources. A lot of public sector customers were mainly looking at web filtering 10 years ago. What we're getting a lot more requests for is the control of information. Public sector has a lot of data that must be kept confidential, private, or otherwise secured. And they're looking for new methods of doing that while still allowing the right people to have access to the stuff they need to do their jobs. The evolution of cybersecurity is causing an integration of security technologies that used to be separate. But the actual technologies are integrating. Email security and web security used to be separate. Today, they're becoming one solution because any threat that you might see through email or through web is also going to come through the other as well. So we're seeing an integration level that has just been unprecedented in the past. This includes DLP features, uh, malware features, and blocking unwanted content, unwanted websites, unwanted email. Uh, so it's not just the dangerous stuff, it's the distracting stuff. I think that public, uh, public sector customers just really need to stay aware of the evolution and the changes in the security space and to uh, ensure that they at least uh, explore all the exciting new technologies that are currently uh, evolving to really help to address the problem. Check out GovTech.com tomorrow for more security opinions from this year's Black Hat USA convention.